What if you could help your liver, kidneys, and diabetes with just one plant? Now, there are lots of plants and formulas in traditional Chinese medicine that we have used for thousands of years to treat diabetes, liver issues, and kidney issues. But in general, there are a few plants that seem to consistently come up, and these are the base of certain traditional herbal formulas that have been famous for a reason. And on top of that, they actually really stand the test of time in terms of scientific scrutiny. So let's jump in and talk about one of these very powerful plants. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master of the Day. So let's get in. So what is this powerful plant that's been used for over 2,000 years? The herb is called Huangqin in Chinese, or Scutellaria radix. Now Scutellaria is something that we've been using for thousands of years documented in traditional herbal formulas for a various range of conditions. So for example, formulas that are high in Huangqin are typically used when there's a high fever, for example. Huangqin is a strongly antipyretic, and as a result, you see formulas like Xiao Chai Tang, minor bupleurum decoction I've talked about here, that are commonly used for famous antiviral formulas. For the annual flu, the annual cold going around, this kind of formula is one of the common patterns that we see clinically in practice. Now, Huangqin is also used for a number of other issues that involve inflammation as well. So for example, lots of people today come in with acid reflux, and Huangqin is often the base of formulas that are used to treat acid reflux and indigestion, particularly if people are getting nausea, burning acid reflux, as opposed to just a feeling of indigestion, they're getting sourness coming up, and Huangqin is used as an herb that we say clears heat. So for example, we say Huangqin clears stomach heat. But what does that actually mean? It is basically anti-inflammatory, it is antipyretic, meaning it can help treat fevers, and also we use it for issues that involve inflammation. So now you can see some of the correlations with how do we use function for livers or kidneys and how do we use it for, for example, diabetes. Let's talk about this a little more. So check out this one research paper which I thought was very, very interesting. So researchers did a very cruel experiment. They basically fed rats and mice a very high fat diet to induce non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In this particular research paper, this paper was called Function Decoction Alleviates Lipid Metabolism Disorders and Insulin Resistance in Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease by Triggering a Certain Pathway. They found that in vivo, Huangqin decoction, scutellaria decoction, prevented rats from gaining body weight and liver weight, improved the liver index, and reduced the levels of pro-inflammatory factors and insulin resistance. Now what's interesting is that we actually use formulas high in function for treating non-alcoholic fatty liver, right? Among other things, chronic gallbladder issues and gall sludge, sometimes gallbladder attacks, can also be used in the earlier stages of liver cirrhosis to help the liver regain some of its former function. Function has myriad uses, and this particular study we're going to come back to when we talk about more about diabetes and uh, obesity, which is one of the main issues in our times. So how do we use scutellaria in liver and kidney functional related issues? Right, when we talk about the liver, we're often talking about, for a lot of people, blood sugar regulation. We're also talking about, obviously, the pancreas. We're talking about the gallbladder, a lot of the digestive organs as well. But Huangqin is very, very effective for improving blood sugar, blood lipids, and really metabolism overall. Like in traditional Chinese medicine, when someone walks in and they have this beet red face, you think they often have the three highs, blood pressure, blood sugar, and blood lipids. So these things are correlated with this kind of inflammatory heat, as we call it. And Huangqin is one of those main herbs that we use to treat all three sometimes. Now, what about this herb scutellaria when it comes to your kidney function? Check out this research paper here. So this paper is called The Combination of Scutellaria Bicolensis and Sephora Japonica Ameliorate Renal Function by Regulating Gut Microbiota in Spontaneously Hypertensive Rat. I know this is a giant mouthful, but what the researchers found was that the combination of scutellaria and Sephora Japonica, another herb, was demonstrated to have antihypertensive, aka anti-high blood pressure effects, and also improved kidney injury clinically. So scutellaria is a very, very interesting and unique herb that's been used for thousands of years for liver issues, kidney issues, diabetes, blood sugar related issues. And it's one of a few different healing practices we utilize in traditional Chinese medicine. And I also have a free guide that's on four daily healing practices you can do that can potentially add years to your life outside of these traditional herbal formulas. And it's a guide I've actually put together right below this video. So check it out because it does go along well with this video. There is something we need to talk about with Scutellaria Huangqin before we go any further. We never use Huangqin as a single herb. So don't watch this video and think I need to supplement with this skullcap plant because high doses of Scutellaria, like a lot of plants, just like a lot of medications, can also cause liver or kidney injury. People who
people who self-administer them and take very high doses without medical supervision, people who buy the wrong plants, you see this all the time. It's not different from Tylenol though, guys. I mean, I just looked up the stats for you. There are about 60,000 ER visits a year from acetaminophen and the range from 300 to 1,000 deaths from people taking Tylenol every day, self-administered. I think a lot of probably children accidentally overdosing or people taking them, but that's a lot more people that die every year than taking Plunkton from liver or kidney damage that is irreversible. So keep that in mind. It is not a safe herb to take at a high dose or to take for long periods of time without medical supervision. So Scularia, very powerful herb in traditional Chinese medicine used to treat both fevers and inflammation as well as lots of different kinds of liver and kidney issues. That's what I have for you today, guys. Before you go, don't forget, I work with a limited number of new patients every single month in my private practice in LA or virtually via telemedicine. So if you want to learn more or reach out, you could go to the bio below this video or dralexhine.com forward slash clinic and give us a call. And then before you go, I have a related video on herbs and healing right here.